and welcome to the third in the series of video updates on the construction at Colin Glen. I'm standing down here at the bottom part of the forest park away from the construction at Skytrack. So just wanted to give you a bit of background on why this is such an exciting day for us. About 10 years ago I spoke to a few zipline companies and brought them over here to the forest park to have a look to see what they could do and nearly all of them came back and said look there's no way you can build anything within the forest park it's too steep there's too much of a gradient you wouldn't be able to slow down in time. So I then started looking at other things that we could do and looked at ropes courses, treetop ropes courses and again the companies came back and said well your trees are too young, they're not strong enough so you can't do it. Well in 2014 Skytrack was built and opened and now today work is starting on what will be the longest zip line in Ireland. I'm here with Stefan Cole from JMA. Stefan great to have you here on site. Tell us how do you feel to finally get this project started on site? Super excited! Like this project is is world beating, and it's going to be it's going to be an amazing structure. The, there's so much potential with this the smaller structure here as well. So, um, but yeah, well, I was involved in the in the, sort of the original um, procurement process. So it's really exciting to suddenly sort of feel that we're actually getting somewhere now. So it's good. And in simple terms, then, what what are the plans for the construction? How are we going to see this project develop? Yeah. So literally this week. Um, we started to clear some trees down in the uh, short zip landing area. So as of yeah, uh, hopefully Wednesday that will be starting. And then uh, there'll be footings going in um, at the start of March. And then by the end of March we'll have two structures, which will be the start and finish of the short zip lines. Um, and after that, then moving on to the long zip line. Yeah, and then straight away off the back of that. So my uh, as of this week, I'll basically hand over the, uh, the short zip um, for fabrication and construction and then I'll be moving straight on to the work for the large zips. Exciting times for Colin Glenn. What sort of things do you foresee as being maybe some of the difficulties you might face during construction? Well, any, any construction project, once you're out of the ground, everyone's a lot happier. So once we get these footings in, that will give us a much uh, a clean base to work from and we'll be, we'll be just cracking on with um, putting the steel up in the air then. Um, but from, from a point of view, there's still a little bit of finishing uh, with the engineering on the large zip, but um, we've already put in a lot of work and obviously we've had a few false starts and we don't want that to continue. So we've put in a lot of groundwork to understand the terrain and understand the challenges that are going to come ahead. Hopefully we've, um, we've accounted for them all now and we can just have a smooth project going forward. Kieran, up, met you out for a walk here today. Obviously you live locally. What do you think having a facility like this in Colin Glen means for the local community? Well, Colin Glen is local first and foremost, but we want to take it global. The facilities we're bringing, whether it be the zip line or whether it be the toboggan, are world class and market leading. The opportunities that we're going to be presenting to the local people of the area, whether it be job prospects, um, activities on their doorstep, is going to be mind blowing. So we cannot wait just to get started. And finally, then, if you're uh, if you had a preference over your favourite attraction, what would it be? I'm going to stay firmly on the ground, just for now, Colin. Um, I'm not going to be the first person to go down that zip line. I'm going to watch from afar, and then we're going to take it from there. So there we are. The zip line is finally getting built. Uh, work is starting on site today, this week. And it may have taken 10 years in the making, but uh, the last couple of weeks have been uh, really exciting to see um, progress being made towards this point in time. Ten years ago when I started talking to zipline companies, um, they were saying no, but I'm not one for accepting no as an answer. So I'm excited, this is a personal achievement for me to have um, work starting here on site and over the next few months it'll be exciting to see how quickly it can progress to getting it open. And then all we need is for the restrictions to be lifted and get the people back out into the forest park, get the coaster and the zip line working and it'll be really good crack I think to come here and spend a day or a half day in Colin Glen and I think given what we've been through over the past 12 months I think we all need a bit of crack so I'm looking forward to it and I hope you are too.